folks, welcome to our course on Adobe Frame Maker Auto Numbering. The, uh, the, the version we are going to use is the unstructured version. And a couple preliminaries first. If you don't own Adobe Frame Maker, you can go to the Adobe site and you can download a free 30-day trial copy and use that version until you get your own copy. Now secondly, uh, since we are using unstructured, this is how we can shift between structured and unstructured versions of FrameMaker. Just launch your FrameMaker, click Preferences, then the product interface, you have two choices, FrameMaker and Structured FrameMaker. If you shift the Structured and you after, after clicking OK, you have to restart, relaunch uh, FrameMaker. But so, as I said, we'll be using the unstructured version. Now, first things first, uh, the way you use the interface in general is through, uh, through the pods. Pods are very important. They are little windows by functions. For example, paragraph catalog, paragraph designer, character catalog. These are all different pods. And once you open them, for example, here is our paragraph catalog. It lists all the paragraph styles used in the text. The ones with check marks are the ones used. The ones that don't have the check mark are the ones that are not used. And uh, to collapse it, you can click this double arrow. And if you like this arrangement, you can pull in any pod you like. And if you would like to see your frame maker look like this when you start it, you can go to this uh, workspace uh, menu and you can save your workspace. You can give it a name, my best workspace. And when you click OK, uh, once you start your FrameMaker, it'll always show like that. If you check the other workspaces, for example, this is a design workspace in which Table Designer has a prominent position. If you click Review Space, there are no pause at all, just the document that you like to review. So to go back to our my best workspace, here we go. They are exactly where we left them. You can pull off a pod of that list and to include it back again, see the blue line? So wherever you lift your finger off your mouse, that's where the pod goes into. And you can also shift its location so this is totally up to you. It's a personal choice and depends on the job at hand, uh, which pods to display and which pods not to display. So here in the list, you can go through this list. For example, do we have table designer? No. See, I opened the table designer, then I wanted to go right under table catalog. So I insert it right there. So now it's just one click away. Table catalog, character catalog, so forth. So these are the um, very basics of working with FrameMaker. I want you to understand FrameMaker is like an Airbus or uh, Boeing uh, 747. It's, it has so many controls, so many options that it would be impossible for me to go through them from A to Z. It's best to use only those features that, that's necessary and that would help us in our specific task at hand, which is order numbering, one of the most important functions in uh, FrameMaker. So let me just add a few more about uh, paragraph tags. 
to uh, you can display only uh, the used formats unused formats for example these are the formats paragraph formats not used in this document displayed here so every document also has its own tab now if i prefer to show all of them to give me a more bird's eye view of what i'm uh, looking at and if i want to let's say heading one if i want to edit it i open my paragraph designer paragraph designer here is uh, heading one and i can for example font change the font change the color i can change it to blue apply oh no insertion point okay you have to insert uh, your cursor into heading one headline and select select what did we select blue apply now it's blue but if i leave at that the others are still black so to do that you click update style and all of a sudden all headings that uh, with that paragraph tag assigned to them turn blue to switch it to back to let's say i think i'm gonna go with red i'm gonna go update style boom everything is red so these are the uh, very basics and to delete one you basically select it and go to the delete uh, delete dialog box select it hit delete and that's the end of the story so these are the abc's of our subject matter and in the uh, next video i will explain why we need order numbering and get on with our first lesson thanks for listening